homemade pickles. It's all about the crunch. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Now I gotta tell you something. These are the best dill pickles. They're not typical pickles. You're just gonna have to deal with it. Now, somebody needs to stop me because I could go on and on with the dill pickle puns. But instead, I'm just gonna show you how to make these amazingly simple, delicious dill pickles. They're the best around. And they start with cucumbers. Cute little pickling cucumbers, which are the best for pickles because they have a little bit more of a tougher skin. So they stand up in the pickle juice and they're really nice and crunchy. So I'm going to start off by taking off the ends of my cucumber and then I'm just going to make little pickle chips. So just slice your cucumber. You can also make the long spears if you prefer, but I like the pickle chips. So all of our pickle chips are in form <laughs> and I'm gonna pop them right into a mason jar. You can also just use another type of jar that you have. Something that is well sealed is the key. So as you can imagine, there's dill in dill pickles. So you want some really nice fresh dill. I actually got this at the farm stand along with my cute little pickling cucumbers. And I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to place in a few sprigs of dill or just one really, really large sprig of dill. Next up, I have some garlic. I like a little bit of garlic in my pickles, but I don't like it to be in your face. So I'm just going to slice the garlic into really thin slices. I actually got this garlic from the farm stand too. That's why I love pickles in the summer. So then, as you can imagine, there's vinegar in your pickles. I really like my pickles to be pretty sour, so I add quite a bit of vinegar. And then you need to add some water just to cut the vinegar and to really fill the entire jar with this vinegar solution. So I'm gonna go ahead and try not to spill water everywhere. <laughs> add the water right into my pickle jar. And then salt. Salt and cucumbers are such an amazing combo and you gotta have a little bit of salt in your pickles. I don't add a ton because I'm just trying to make these a nice, fresh, refreshing pickle that's not too, too salty and briny. And then the one thing that is the secret ingredient in my pickles is a little bit of black pepper just takes it to a whole nother level. So all you need to do is go ahead and seal your jar Make sure it's nice and tight. Oh, I've got water everywhere. <laughs> Give your jar a nice shake to get all those ingredients all together. And then you're just gonna pop this in the fridge for at least six hours to let the cucumbers absorb, the cucumbers <laughs> absorb the vinegar solution and the dill and all those flavors. I'll see you then. Got my pickle jar. Can't wait to open these up. So this is what I usually do. I open my pickle jar and I take a fork and I just go to town. <laughs> you don't need a sandwich on the side or anything. This isn't a side dish. This is a main course. Mm, mm, mm. Homemade pickles, they stay crunchy. There's so much more flavor. They're just so simply delicious. Check it out on tastelygrace.com. You won't regret it. They're not typical. <laughs> Extensions.